I thought the morning light would be a good chance to give you all a nice update on Gracie's grape, which all of a sudden in the last few days has begun ripening in earnest, big time. Look at the size of some of these clusters. And for some reason, she had grown mostly to the north side of the hen house. Here's some more clusters here. Just about every place I pull back leaves, I've got ripening clusters of Gracie's grape. Let's see if I can get closer here. I've long felt that this variety is um, Blue Lake, which was bred in Florida for Florida, I think in 1961 or so, I think by University of Gainesville. Uh, whatever this is, the flavor is wonderful. There's a definite uh, uh, kind of a Concord type taste to it. Uh, it's quite seedy, but that doesn't bother me because the nutritional content of the seeds, I just crunch them up. Let's come over to this side here. This is the west side of the hen house. And there's just grapes galore wherever I look. Now what's interesting, if I go around here, the variety um, that I'm calling Gray Street Grape, which I believe is actually Daytona, some clusters here. Uh, they're all very, very green. Uh, not only here on the west side of the hen house, but over here on the south side. Uh, there's absolutely no, no ripening taking place yet at all. Uh, when they do ripen, I think they're going to be red. Actually, here is a red one. Look at that. Here's one turning red right here. Uh, that pretty much, in my mind, confirms what I've long suspected. That's Daytona. There's supposedly only two red table grapes for Florida. Uh, Red Flame, which is seedless, and Daytona, which has seeds. And this is a quite seedy grape. Uh, but these clusters, let's see, all the way over to the front of the hen house, over here, are all staying green. But as you can see, I'm going to have a remarkable quantity of grapes to harvest this year. Look at that. Step back for a nice overview. One of the things I like about these grapes is they let the hen house have plenty of shade uh, from the summer heat and they've also extended over onto the quail pen to give the quail shade in the summertime. But then since it's a deciduous plant in the fall, uh, the leaves are shed and it goes back to being a nice sunny hen house uh, for their winter comfort. So you just walk all the way around here. Gracie's grape is three years old from a cutting I rooted from the original plant at Gracie Valdez's house over there on uh, Clark Street by Gandhi. She uh, was the mom of an old high school friend, Mike Valdez. Step back for a whole other view here. And then Gray Street Grape came from a rental over near West Shore Mall that was going to be bulldozed uh, as an unknown variety. I'm really happy with the growth of both. It took Gray Street Grape four years to begin to perform. And uh, this is Gracie Grape, Gracie's Grape first uh, big fruit set too. One last view here. I'm going to be eating a lot of grapes and I'm going to look into how I could possibly uh, blanch them and run them through a sieve to get the seeds out for juice making. Again, I think if this variety is probably Blue Lake if you want to try to purchase it if you're a Floridian. Um, I think it would grow well all the way through the southeast U.S. And I've actually seen Blue Lake and a related variety called Conquistador at Lowe's of all places, um, which is a really nice breakthrough. Um, this variety this class, I should say, of grapes were bred, I believe, primarily from a wild species in the southeast called Vitus estivalis, and they crossed it with Concord and other European-type grapes to produce this class of grapes for Florida. Uh, they're very, very, very different from the muscadines. I have a muscadine uh, back here on my south fence, which I, I think I can zoom in on it. Uh, this variety is called Triumph, uh, and it makes uh, kind of a greenish grape with a bronze uh, blush to it if I recall correctly, but a lot of people do not like muscadines because of the um, thick skin uh, and the and the seeds, but neither of which bother me. But to me, they don't have that really, really grapey taste. There's one last view of a nice cluster on Gray Street grape, and I am just really, really pleased with this development. There's another shot here. So keep your eyes peeled, folks, if you're Floridians for Blue Lake, Daytona, and Red Flame. Have a good day. Bye-bye.